Hey, what's up? This is Chosen. Gonna be joined by Ivy Lee here on the channel. I know uh, that, that I did a channel or a video a while back, a couple weeks ago, when she decided to move on from Raid, and I, I promised to bring her on the channel to ask some questions and get some context on that decision. And then also, uh, we'll talk about some of the random stuff going on in the uh, in the Raid scene as well, and if she's been following that or not, and we'll bounce around a few random topics. So let's get into it. Hey, what's up, Ivy? How you doing today? Hey, thanks for having me. Yeah, yeah. Thanks for thanks for joining me. It's fun to to finally actually touch base with you instead of just reacting to your to your video about moving on. Now I know it's been uh, a couple weeks. Do you do you how, how you doing? You feel good about the decision, or do you regret it? And what's kind of like changed now that you've you've moved on from like your main game and raid? I have to say, so far, I'm completely relieved. I feel like a weight is off my shoulders. I feel way less stress. Um, raid just wasn't fun. It was more stressful. And it was so, so hard just to play the game, let alone keep up with the content, that now I actually have the time to play and create content on games I'm enjoying more. I have time to work on other stuff like my other channel that's not related to gaming that I'm trying to get going actually. And there's just so much more stuff I can actually like do daily without feeling like I've like I don't have enough time. I don't have enough time. <laughs> okay, so 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 far, uh, no regrets. So far, so far you're doing okay. No regrets. Okay, that's yep. good to hear. Is the uh, l l like channel wise was it was it a big deal or is everything kind of kind of doing well for you? I know you do Infinite Magic Raid and Eternal Evolution, right? Yes, so on the main channel, which was Raid, I switched to Infinite Magic Raid. That channel saw a nice spike when I quit, and then I lost a few, but overall I gained more than I lost so far, so that's great to see. But views-wise, the views are low for Infinite Magic Raid, and I don't think that's my channel switch's fault, I think it's just a little bit low for the game overall, for other content creators too, because that game is seeing a little bit of a dip in player base. Um, but luckily the gotcha channel that is now my eternal evolution channel has like doubled in size And I have just as good if not better views on that channel than I did when I played raid So that channel's kind of become my main even though it's my little baby channel with 2,000 subscribers <laughs> Yeah, you know well well ever since YouTube switched to the recommended model uh, yeah, And, and kind of that that drives the majority of the traffic so the subscriber count isn't a huge deal anymore at least not as huge as it used to be so that doesn't surprise me um i mean i've got the chart pulled up here it looks like infinite magic raid is definitely losing players but not super fast but uh, but it didn't really blow up or anything so uh it didn't have a crazy peak and because of that it's kind of tapering off but it doesn't surprise me because i'm seeing that eternal evolution is about you know more than double of the youtube popularity right now yeah, that makes sense. It seemed like there was way more hype around Eternal Evolution than Infinite Magic Raid. I only found, well, I found both games because of an initial sponsorship. And then I kept playing after those sponsorships were over just because I liked them. But I definitely felt a big, big, big community boost, especially in the Raid community, more for Eternal Evolution than IMR. Yeah, yeah, for whatever reason, Eternal Evolution seemed to get a, a little bit more hype than Infinite Magic Raid. Um, now, which one do you like better? Um, and I'll kind of give you my thoughts on the two games after that. I like Infinite Magic Raid better. Personally, that's the game I'm enjoying grinding more. Uh, it's a lot like Raid Shadow Legends. It's not like I didn't like Raid's style overall, but it gives us the quality of life features that Raid never did. <laughs> and, that, and it's a little bit quicker, slight idle RPG style to it. And I mean, I love Eternal Evolution. I like Eternal Evolution as a side game, but I think Infinite Magic Raid is more fun to have as a main focus to try to push hard and grind and really focus the content. And that's because Eternal Evolution is a little bit more of a idle game, right? Yeah. It's not yeah. like Raid where you're kind of grinding it constantly all day, every day. Yeah, that's how I feel. I feel like people are trying to play it like Raid, but that's one of the criticisms I give is stop trying to treat the game like Raid. It's not. It's an idle RPG. It's chill. It's supposed to be chill. I've played the game very patiently, and I feel like because of that, I've actually been more rewarded in a boosted account that I probably wouldn't even have at this point if I grinded hard. I felt like my patience paid off by saving for the right times for things and 
Yeah, I, okay. I'm, I'm liking that though. I like it. It's chill. Yeah, nice. Okay. Um, I'll give you uh, my thoughts and you can let me know if you agree or disagree. So I'll start with Infinite Magic Raid. Um, Infinite Magic Raid, I see as a game that'll be similar to um, Awakening Chaos Era, a game that'll be fun for two or three months and it'll do decently well out the gate. Um, I don't, I don't see the long-term sustainability of it being a game like Summoner's War or Rage of the Legends or uh, Star Wars: Galaxy of Heroes. Uh, I see it kind of fading away, unfortunately. Even though I like it, I see it. I, I don't see enough teeth there to hold it long-term. Um, and then Eternal Evolution, I. I think it's cool. I love the live battle front row, back row kind of dynamic that Magnum Quest had. I really wish a game like that would super take off because I think it'd be fun. Um, my criticism of Eternal Evolution would be there's not enough champions. There's not enough of a roster. Um, I also don't like the like SSS uh, system. It seems a little bit weird to me. Uh, I like raids, uncommon, rare, epic, legendary. Um, so I think it only has like what 45 champions. I just don't see enough of a roster in Eternal Evolution. So that's so I question if Eternal Evolution has long-term staying power. I'm not trying to be a hater or anything. I hope it does great for you. It's just that's my honest assessment. Is that you know five six months from now I I, I don't know how robust it's going to be. But you can let me know if you disagree or or push back on any of that. Well, for starting with Infinite Magic Raid, I do agree. It's a lot like Awaken Chaos Era. It has a lot of the same player base and. I think because of the strong marketing and strong graphics of Raid, they really do have a lot, they have a lot longer staying power overall. And I, I like IMR and I want it to succeed, but I think you're right. I think I, with most of these gotcha games, people just play for a while, they get bored, they find something new, they move on. And that's, but maybe that's a good thing for me. Maybe I'll have, I had those same feelings when I played Summoner's Glory, when I played Awaken Chaos Era, now when I'm playing IMR. All of those games made me feel like, oh, I would totally quit Raid and just play this. This is fun. Every game has made me feel like that because it's fun to play something new and shiny and grind for a while. And then maybe you get bored and you find something new. And maybe that's more re actually more relatable for most players. Most players don't play the same gotcha game for four years, do they? That doesn't seem realistic, really, like us no. Raid people. I'd say, I'd say like 0.1% <laughs> of people who download a game play it for four years, so... Exactly. So maybe that's actually going to be the direction my channel takes. Maybe that main Ivy League Gaming used to be Raid channel twist, like transitions with the flow of what's coming out. I play what I'm enjoying at the moment on that channel and that just becomes a like, let's see what happens. Maybe something surprisingly takes off. Maybe it doesn't and I find something else. But um, on the side of Eternal Evolution, I, I think it has a different type of... I think it has staying power. I would, I would say I disagree with you in the sense of it's not Raid and IMR. It's an idle RPG. It's it's not meant to be grind all day, nonstop, not go, 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 go. It's meant to be a chill side game. And I, I hope that that just attracts a little bit of a different player base that enjoys that type of game. That's like, I log in for 20 minutes, I log out, I'm done. Maybe when there's special events, you play a little longer or you take once a week, you take a little bit more time to regear your heroes or something but i feel like it, i should be a little bit of a different audience that might appreciate the more chill vibes of an idol rpg and i think the graphics are great they're constant they are adding new heroes pretty regularly they're inc improving the guild system a lot there's a lot more fun interactive stuff with the guild system already uh and yeah i think i think it's doing better and better and I saw Promise in it way back in July. Like, I've been playing it since July, not since only November when it released. So, I don't know. I, I, okay. I think it has pot more potential maybe than IMR, but... Yeah, thanks for the, thanks for the context and, and input on that. Now, uh, are you making sure, as, as someone who's in, the, in, in Eternal Evolution, are you making sure to check the promotion ad box on every video? We've had a, we've had a hot topic here in the raid community. So, are, are you making sure to do that every time? I do not make money from my link. At least not yet. It might be possible. I don't know. But I do not make money from my link. My link is simply just for them tracking stuff. I don't even know what they track. I don't make money beyond my YouTube. Okay, so uh, so that's why Stu plugged you at the start of his video calling out Hell Hades. I, 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 no, I think... <laughs> Recently, I watched a video with Ivy Lee taking a break from Rage. She's taking a step back to do EE, Eternal Evolution, and focus on Infinite Magic Raid. 
I'll leave a link to all of her channels down below. Even her older raid videos are still viable, so go check those out. I think he thought that that made no sense. I think he thinks that we all make money just because we have a link, and I realize a lot of people in the comments do too. But I don't make money. I know I just had a conversation with Dan Heilman today. He doesn't make money from his link either. Like we were literally talking about it today. Not all of us make the same like profit share like Hell Hades got offered. But I think that's thanks to me. They were asking me to refer content creators. And I'm like, you guys gotta stop coming in with this join our content creator program and we'll give you free stuff. No, you need to offer bigger content creators money or else it doesn't like they're just going to say no and move on. I really tried to push to them to stop just coming up front with that. And if you really want a big content creator to play the game, you've got to come at them with a monetary deal first. Well, that's not true. Some of them are dreamers that that will, you know, <laughs> so. Uh, but no, it's funny because it, it was really in, in Stu's video where he called out Hell Hades at the start of it. He like shouted you out randomly. So like, like hey, by the way, go support Ivy Lee. So it, it almost came off like like you did a like this was your idea or you endorsed this or you like <laughs> you and Stu worked together or something. So I would know the I mean, I'm I've been a fan of Stu was no more <laughs> i kind of honestly just to be honest i lost a lot of respect for him from that series of events and i'm very defensive when it comes to hell hades i know him as a person and to attack his character that way was not cool and i'm a proud little minion i'll be defensive <laughs> yeah no I, mean, I, I i have nothing against hell hades either so i know you work with him more on like the you know the website articles and and stuff he like came that to my but... wedding oh yeah that's really cool yeah <laughs> how many how many people came that you that you knew from like gaming or or content creation? Um, it was Hell Hades and Lady H, and then Fiction and Safira from HH Gaming, and then one of the Clies who used to stream on Twitch. He was really good at gear cleansing. <laughs> That's what he's known for. And then uh, Soldier was just a Twitch viewer, so not as many as we invited, but it was really nice to still have that little raid family. We played Raidzilla, of course. <laughs> yeah, that's no, that's awesome. It's always fun to finally get to to meet people. Like I got to go to TwitchCon and meet yeah. Deadwood and Darth and and Layla and some of the people that worked at Planarium and stuff like that. So that stuff's awesome. I'm I'm glad you got to to meet them. So uh, what about the other? Uh, have you been following the the raid scene? Do you see like the drama around artifact ascending and and like you know people like Smiley getting upset about it? Do you have anything you wanted to say about that? Kind of from an outside perspective. Yeah, I've been seeing everything. I've even watched most of those videos, like from Smiley and Ash and some of the people complaining. It's If those people are complaining that are very positive, you really know something's wrong. And I felt like that was me too. I was very positive in the community overall. So if I'm really, really upset and pissed off, like I feel like it was warranted. <laughs> and, and I don't know, I just, as an outsider looking in, every single day, I felt like... I'm so glad I left. I'm so glad I left. I'm so glad I left. Every single day, there's one more thing that's like, yup, screw that game. Yup, screw that company. Yup, screw that game. No, that's like, that's just, I'm so, I, I really don't see how I could come back unless something dramatically changed. Like, you remember back when there was that shift in like a new CEO and things shifted. Yep. It felt different for a while. If yep. something like that happened and the game just felt completely different, the vibes were different, every CC was like, oh, it's wonderful now. They've really done things differently. Maybe I would consider it in the future, but I don't, I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm everything I'm seeing is just like, nope, <laughs> I'm out. I, I, I would say, um, I, I would say, you know, once you've played a game for three or four years, I think it's natural to kind of hit yeah. a, like, like I'm not saying playing doesn't do anything wrong. But I, but I also think some of it is it, it's just natural. Like like in three exactly. years, like in three years from now, I doubt you'll be super pumped to log into Eternal Evolution every day. You know, like it's just a no. natural <laughs> flow. Um, but but I do. I mean, obviously, I agree or disagree with some of the the stuff going on. It's like it's like you know, it's a blend. It's it's a mixed bag. It's it, it's some of both. But it'll be interesting to see if these games like uh, like like Eternal Evolution and Infinite Magic Raid, like two and a half, three years from now, uh, kind of if they if they have the staying power or if people are starting to to kind of get lethargic. 
Yeah, I feel like I've already mentally prepared myself to move on from both games, honestly. Like, it's like, I like them, but I understand as a content creator, that might not be my forever direction of the channel. But I kind of like that. I like that. I feel like my Ivy League gaming channel is open to change. It's it's going to be open to playing some new games, testing th some things out. It might be the big hype, and I do it because I, I'm smart and I know it's the big hype, and why not a final try it? But for the most part, I only want to, I just want to play what I like, and I just wasn't enjoying Raid for a while. So, and, and if, if the, luckily, if one of my channels is doing solid enough, I could take the risk on the other one and play something different. And if I start to get bored of Infinite Magic Raid, or more so it's the community too, right? When the whole community is pissed off about something, or leaving the game, and there's a, if it's a dead game, it don't matter how much I like it, if the game's dead, the game's dead, I might as well move on. So if that happens to IMR sooner rather than later, well, I'll shift the direction of my channel too. But I want to keep it open to try another games regardless of playing that game or not yeah gotcha um i know like the big one on people's minds is like uh D diablo 4 was announced recently is that your kind of scene or your kind of game are you ever gonna try like uh, like diablo 4 in six months when it comes out or anything i loved that game when i was 15 years old i tried loving it at, well diablo 2 <laughs> when i was 15 years old loved it again when i was 21 but i feel like that was it's just so time consuming and to play those type of games or to try to play with where you have to play with other people at certain times i don't like being i i thought i would like that but i liked that when i was living in america and i was bored and i was enjoying my online life more than my real life but now that i i have a busy content creator life now and i don't want to be on my computer till midnight every night so i can like if no i don't even know which i am already pretty much <laughs> I, can't, I just can't imagine fitting that style of game in, honestly. Yeah, it's it, it's way different. I, I was uh, I was saying that to a lot of these content creators behind the scenes, because um, I was a content creator for Diablo 3 uh, before Raid. Um, and I was like, a lot of these people have no idea what they're getting into. Like, oh, I'm going to go play Diablo more. I'm going to do content on it. And it's like, Diablo games are a whole different animal. Like, you got to yeah. be, if you're going to be doing content on Diablo, you don't auto battle for two hours a day. Like, you got to grind like five six eight hours a day if you're gonna be exactly. like, a, like a content creator in that scene now diablo immortal kind of broke the mold a little bit because it's a little bit of a mobile game but diablo 4 is gonna be back to that like rpg grinder where there is no auto battle and you better bring it if you're gonna be a content creator <laughs> yeah i feel like that sounds like it'd be fun if that was the only thing you focused on you know like that'd be that would be fun if i didn't play anything else and that was my one thing i focused on maybe but yeah, I can't see fitting it in when I prefer the gotcha idol RPG style these days. Yeah, I gotcha. Cool. Well, is there, is there anything that you want to make sure and, and talk about or mention? I know it's getting late at night for you, so I don't want to keep you forever. Is there, but is there anything you wanted to touch on quick that I didn't bring up? No, I think you covered it pretty well, actually, there. And, I mean, it's been, it's been fun. I'm still here in the community. I may be gone from rape, but I'm still here. Yeah, And everyone's sure. been so nice for the most part, so it's been... Even the viewers, even people on um, YouTube will randomly just be like, hi, I'm from Raid. Yeah, Say nice. That, that's good to hear. And, I, and I'll definitely yeah. I'll, I'll definitely link to your stuff down below. So so make sure and check out uh, Ivy Lee doing a good job over there covering uh, kind of some of these different mobile games in the market. And appreciate you uh, staying in touch and taking the time to, to hang out with me for a little bit. And uh, and yeah, don't be a stranger. I'm sure we'll, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll talk again here at some point. Thanks for having me. All right, we'll see you. Have a good night.